Okay guys, so I just want to let you know a little bit before this video starts. So it's going to be a second intro as well. Uh, but so pretty much what we're going to be doing is my mate sprayed a uh, guard and I'm going to be uh, sanding it back, buffing it and bringing it back up. So out through this video, it's going to explain each step. So you're going to want to stay, watch the, um, each part of the video. Watch it all to the end and it's going to explain to you how you can get the best results at home doing this yourself. Using products that are available to everyone and anyone. Um, not expensive, it's all going to be cheap, help you all out. Um, at the end, um, I didn't really put in any audio, so that's why I'm doing this video now. It's going to be the stages of half and half, cut through, and you're going to see the absolute um, dramatic change that we've made to this panel. Um, just by adding these little steps and cutting this paint back and polishing it up. We've changed this panel from something that was just you wouldn't even want to have on your car to something that you're going to be proud to display. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell so you see all my next videos coming up and I can help you out with anything. Just leave a comment and I'm more than happy to hit you back, um, let you know what I think and also make a video on anything that you will need help with. So, hope you've enjoyed. Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing another video. Um, it's going to be on this panel that we have on behind us that my mate's dropped off. He's um, actually just done it himself at home, just using normal uh, spray cans, nothing else, just in the sun, nothing special. So I'm going to go over it and show you the kind of results that he got just um, using them. This was his first time ever painting anything as well. So I think he actually done a really good job just for the first time. Um, but I'm going to see what kind of results I can bring out of what he done to show you what steps you could take after you spray at home whether it's your first time or you've done it heaps of times. This is going to help you. Um, all I'm going to be using to do the wet sand is just an old spray bottle uh, with water with a couple of drops of dishwashing liquid. The dishwashing liquid just helps the sandpaper um, glide, obviously makes it slippery, makes it easier to do the wet sanding. Um, I've just got an old 1500 um, block. Um, and the 1500 sandpaper, we're just going to wrap around the block for the sanding. And then we're just going to bring it back up after we do the wet sanding with some um, heavy cut polish. That's just going to reduce um, all the scratches we put in when we uh, wet sand it. It's obviously going to put a lot of defects in the paint. We're going to have to cut and polish them out. And we're just going to use just a Shine Mate yellow, uh, yellow uh, red pad. And I'm actually not going to use uh, the Orbital today. I'm actually just going to use just a normal whatever I'm probably just have, just a normal everyday rotary uh, buffer. That's actually, I find it easier to do the cut with this machine. It just takes out the scratches a lot quicker than what your orbital will. It probably, yeah, it is a lot more risky. You can cut through the paint um, a lot quicker, but if you know what you're doing, you're going to get a good result. You just don't want to work it too long, but I'll explain that through the video anyway, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so this is the panel. You can obviously see how bad the um, orange peel is. There really isn't any shine at all. You can't really see mirror. It doesn't really reflect off. Uh, there's these little defects all kind of through it. Um, there's a few spots where you didn't sand properly just when um, doing the final prep. Um, so this is kind of like a general what you can get out of a spray can. You can obviously get a lot better results than this straight out of the can depending on how much time you want to spend. Um, but he'd already painted this and I've seen it as an opportunity to see um, how much better we can make this just doing um, a final step of a wet sand and a polish to see if we can actually make it so we can actually get this to mirror off and shine like a normal paint job. So. Um, I'll cut this video to the next step, I'll set up the camera and I'll explain what we're going to do through from there. Okay, so what we're going to start off doing is just getting our 1500 sandpaper. Um, we're not going to be too worried about the rip, just rip a piece off that you're going to want to use. Grab your old sanding block. It's not going to matter really what grit this is because you're not going to be using it. Um, just wrap your sandpaper around it like that. That's going to give you something good to hold and work your sandpaper down. Now, you're not going to want to spend too much time on this. You're not going to want to over sand it. Um, just always think you can come back and re-sand it. There's nothing wrong with stopping halfway. You always want to check because if you do cut through the clear paint, 
uh, clear coat too much, you're going to have to stop um, and drop another layer of not just clear coat but uh, base coat as well and go over it again. So you always want to be real careful when doing this and take your time. So all we're going to be doing is spraying down the panel. Now you want it as wet as, you always want it to be wet, you don't want it to be dry because when it is dry that's when you're going to burn through your clear coat. So you always want it to be slippery, you always want there to be water and you don't want it to be dry at all. And all you're going to do is just back and forth like this. And you can even feel on the pad, you'll feel how sticky it is, how gritty it is. Um, you'll feel it eventually starting to get smoother. And when you get to that smooth spot, that's kind of when you want to stop and check your work. And see how you're coming along. Now, I can't really explain what um, it will look like. So it's better for me just to do this and take us to the next step and show you what um, you'll have left after you wet sand it. So I might just um, do a time lapse of me doing half of this panel and then we'll um, wipe it off and then I'll show you what the results looks like when you're finished and then we'll do the cut and polish. All right, I just wanted to cut the video there so I can kind of show you what we're aiming for. So this is what we started with. And then if you come over here, you can see how it's starting to fade down and uh, dull out. Now this is exactly the kind of result you want to be getting, where it's like this. If you're coming up and you're seeing it, and it's like this, where there's still little um, dots through it, you want to go just a little bit further through that to bring it out to the dullness like this side. And once you have that dullness, um, you can keep working it back, but the further you go, the more you risk cutting through. And if you are wet sanding it, um, another good tip is, um, if you see the colour of your paint coming out in the water when you're washing it, that's an indicator you've cut through your clear coat and you want to stop immediately. Um, so I'm now going to quickly just finish off these um, little corners because um, that's another thing I've got to tell you. Is you don't want to um, push too hard or over sand on your corners because you'll burn through them the easiest. So um, I'm going to do them now quickly and finish up this little spot and then we'll bring out the buffer and we'll go over this and I'll show you the results that you're going to get back out of this. Alright, so this is going to be the same simple kind of just when you're buffing any cutter but you're just going to be working a bit harder, a bit hotter, um, trying to cut real deep, try and remove everything, you've, all them defects you've just put in it. Um, so I'm going to use the heavy um, cutting compound. Uh, we're only going to put four pea-sized dots around on the sides of the pad put that in, let it work in the spot for a couple of seconds, then start working it through the area. Um, if you're ever doubtful if you're going too hot, just place it back of your hand on there. If it feels hot to you, stop and do not work in that area anymore. Move on to a different spot and come back to that one. Um, same as sanding, it doesn't hurt, just to stop. You don't have to continue and try and push, 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 I need that result. Just stop, wipe it off, don't rush. And just keep checking, 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 because you can always come back and go over it again. So um, I'm going to cut to that now. I'll just run through a video of me um, going over this, and then we'll wipe it off and see what it looks like. All right, so that's all I'm going to be using on the pad. Uh, we're going to start off on the slower speed and just work our speed up.
Okay, so this is just one time going over it. Um, you can see uh, this is my shed light right here. Can't make that out. It just looks like a big blob of light, all that orange peel. Um, so if you move over to where we've just done, you can actually kind of make out now that is actually a light and everything is actually shining off it now. I'm just trying to get the best result um, I can on my phone. It's hard to tell, but I'm sure you can tell just by looking from that. You can actually even, if you look here, you can actually see all the shine off the shed. Whereas if you move down here, there's nothing. You can't see anything. Come back, you just see it pop back in. So we're obviously going to keep working at this. We could have cut this a little bit deeper too. But, um, I don't want to overcut on it, um, but I'm going to do another cut and polish over it now, and then we'll see um, what it looks like when it's fully done. Fucked and drank all night Acted all alright Had no need to fight Tonight, tonight Fucked and drank all night Acted all alright Had no need to fight Tonight, tonight